If you guys are looking for a new game to pass the time before GTA 6 gets here, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Can you guys believe that 10 years ago today, Rockstar Games released the official trailer for Grand Theft Auto V? That happened on August 29th, 2013. And I'm excited for when this goes to this. And we can finally say that we're going to be getting a Grand Theft Auto 6 official trailer. Now, there's going to be a lot that happens before then. Of course, there has to be the reveal. There has to be some of the teaser trailers, some of the trailers that focus on the main characters, the gameplay itself. But this is the final one that Rockstar released right up until the release date, which was on September 17th, 2013. So hopefully we're getting closer and closer than ever to that timeline. And Insider Tez Funds 2 gave us some interesting info to think about here. This is what he had to say just the other day. Everything seems to line up for a high likelihood of Rockstar announcing Grand Theft Auto 6 soon, probably in the coming months. If that happens, we might see a new collectible or a new hunt relating to GTA 6 within the December update, just like the treasure hunt with the Doomsday Heist. Or it's probably a bit early, and we could see that with the summer update instead. I could see a new hunt or collectible or random event on Cayo Perico to tease Grand Theft Auto 6. It would make the most sense. So, like myself, Tez Funds 2 is predicting that Rockstar will be announcing Grand Theft Auto 6 soon. And I think there's really three particular times as we approach the last four months of the year. The first would be September, and that's going to be around Grand Theft Auto 5's 10-year anniversary. This would be the perfect time for a teaser. The only problem with this is Rockstar typically does not celebrate anniversaries, at least they haven't in a major way. The only thing we've kind of seen with anniversaries is Rockstar announcing the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition right around the same time of getting the 20-year anniversary of those games. So that is something that they could do. We also need to circle the entire month of October. This is when they revealed both Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead Redemption 2 was teased for the first time on October 16th, 2016, and Grand Theft Auto 5 for the first time on October 25th, 2011. So we can't ignore that month at all. And then December, this is Rockstar's 25th anniversary as a company, as it was founded in December of 1998. So there's some pretty significant milestones coming up in the last four months of the year that really do make you think, all right, this is going to be the time in which the first official reveal and announcement is going to happen. You might think the only reason Rockstar might stray away from September is because a day after GTA 5's anniversary, remember that's when the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks came out. How ironic would that be? If a year after the leaks, they officially revealed the game for the first time, that would be kind of bold from Rockstar. With the month of October, Rockstar might think, okay, everyone is predicting that, so maybe we won't do it then. And then in December, Rockstar usually have a, an online update for us to enjoy, so maybe they don't want to sort of share the spotlight with that. And speaking of the online update, that's the other thing that Insider Tez Funds 2 is predicting. There's going to be some sort of new collectible or treasure hunt related to Grand Theft Auto 6 within the December update. And we actually saw two of these for Red Dead Redemption 2 in Grand Theft Auto Online. The first was for a stone hatchet, which again, you got various clues, things hinting at Red Dead Redemption 2. And then at the end of your treasure hunt, you got a stone hatchet that would carry over to RDR2. And the other one was another very similar treasure hunt with Red Dead Redemption-esque style clues. And this would give you the gold double action revolver. Both of those weapons could be used in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now again, the only problem with that is when those treasure hunts happened, Rockstar had already announced Red Dead Redemption 2. So it really wasn't a surprise because all these things that Rockstar add in these online updates are immediately going to be data mined by people that are going through the files. So there's basically nothing they can hide from us, and Rockstar definitely knows that. So if it's not going to happen in this December update, well, unfortunately, that means either the announcement has not happened or Rockstar haven't revealed enough information yet to do a treasure hunt. And if that's the case, that could come with the summer update instead. And a nice place to do that would be on Cayo Perico, sort of the tropical island in online. And we know that GTA 6 is going to be taking place in Vice City. 
So you could kind of connect the dots with the two most tropical settings of that game. And then, of course, in GTA 5. That, to me, definitely makes the most sense. And it's also a way that Rockstar can inject some more players back into GTA Online. You might not necessarily care about Grand Theft Auto's multiplayer, but if you can get the first teaser or clue for the next Grand Theft Auto game in multiplayer, it might be something you ultimately dive into. And keep in mind that all this information aligns us with what Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, have said, and that they basically have stated that the game is going to be coming out sometime between April 2024 and March 2025, at least as things currently stand. So if that's the case, you would think the game basically has to be announced, I would say roughly a year before the title is expected to come out. So if Rockstar wants to have any hope of having the game come out in 2024, the reveal, the announcement, the initial whatever, that has got to happen in 2023. And if it doesn't, it might be bad news and it might mean that things are pushed back a little bit further and we don't know if that's due to the leaks or just rockstar wanting to have the game be absolutely at perfection and fans are even reminiscing looking at old posts that were created several years ago remember this image right here these are from some airport doors in grand theft auto 5 on the left the year when gta 5 was released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. In the middle of 2014, the year when Grand Theft Auto 5 was released for PS4 and Xbox One, and then everyone speculating 2021, surely that was gonna be the year when GTA 6 would be released. Now, of course, we don't know all the things that could have caused it to not come out in 2021. It might have been the pandemic, it might have been Rockstar shifting gears or even rebooting the development of the game. These are things we don't know. So that's kind of where things stand with GTA 6 being officially announced 17 months ago back in February 2022. And since then, they've barely sniffed a word about the game. We've mostly heard it from their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. But could all that change in the final four months of the year? I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. But for now, that is everything that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in those comments down below. When do you think... Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be officially, officially announced by Rockstar, like the same kind of teaser we got for RDR2 and GTA 5. Let me know what you're thinking down there, or of course, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page, where as always, you can send messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would of course be awesome, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.